This video is supported in part by Tommy and the Order of Cosmic Champions. If you enjoy The NeverEnding Story and Masters of the Universe, this new novel coming fall 2022 is right up your alley. I had been going through life blissfully unaware of the existence of a line of 1983 classic arcade game trading cards called Video City. That is until I saw a video from my man Anthony over at Froggy Flips. He's one of my favorite flea market flipping channels. That's a lot of F's in that sentence. Anyway, in that video, he was doing some picking and he came across a bunch of these Video City trading cards. They have things like Zaxxon and Donkey Kong Jr. He came back to his cave and he went through a lot of them and that just absolutely gave me the urge to go and track some down because I had never seen, heard, or owned them in my Gen X youth. So I was able to dig around on eBay. Now I've seen a lot of boxes like this go for upwards of 500 bucks. This box is in really rough shape though, and I got it for just $150. So the set only has about 32 cards in it. Of these 36 packs, we should get about 200 cards. I'm hoping I can have a nice complete set after a careful opening session. So let's get this box to the table, open it up, and see what kind of cool cards are in this Video City series from 1983. I wanted to be ready to not only open and collect these cards, but also preserve them in as good a shape as possible. So as soon as I ordered them off of eBay, I went ahead and grabbed a couple of sets of these BCW top loaders. These are hard shell, uh, protective cases that we can put all of these cards in, whether they're for my set or for trading. The box itself is in really rough shape. These giant scuff marks across the top looks like they've been taped there. But the good news is I don't care about the box because I don't intend to keep these and resell them. I'm opening these. And in fact, it's been resealed, as you can see. It's not the original shrink wrap. But again, why do I care? As long as it's a full box, we're going to open them up and enjoy it. Now that we've got it out of that dingy plastic, just a quick look at the box. You can see, again, that top is all kind of messed up, but again, who cares? Uh, Turbo, Zaxxon, DK Jr., and Frogger are all that are listed here. And interestingly enough, you can see that both Nintendo and Sega had a hand in putting these out. Around the back, a little ad for a bazooka, a bubble gum, and then around this side, more of the same. Just game cards, stickers, and bubble gum is what you're gonna get inside of your Video City card packs. All right, let's get it open. Oh, <laughs> looking good. For being based on video games, this is a really ordinary, bland looking cover for the wax pack. Manufactured by Tops, you can see there. Each one has three rub off game cards and three stickers and a stick of bubble gum, which I expect is probably pretty rancid by now. Let's get started carefully. And then of course, I'm gonna fast forward through uh, more of these pack openings to find out just what we have, but. Let's see a puzzle piece in there, maybe? Let's see. Yeah, there they are. And uh, oh, look, there's the gum. Oh, that's all crumbled and uh, I don't dare. I don't dare. <laughs> you can see a little discoloration from the gum. Not terrible, but enough that, you know, if we have some duplicates, I'll keep the one that's a little bit better shape. So these are the game cards. They kind of scratch off like a scratch off lottery ticket. Uh, and the back is how to play that game. There's a Zaxxon, how to play some Donkey Kong Jr. And another puzzle there, another Zaxxon. All right, and those puzzle games. Here's some stickers, all right. So here we have a turbo sticker, another tur a duplicate in the same pack. That would be disappointing if I didn't have a whole box of them. And feeling run down, play Frogger. Look at these little stickers. A whole, there's like four stickers on this one card. Nice. I want to be sure to preserve these as I go. So even as I'm opening them, I'm going to go ahead and put them into these top loader sleeves so they stay just as pristine as they were the moment that I got to see them and you got to see them. Let's slowly open one more together and then I'm going to blast through the rest of this case. Some more cards and some more moldy gum. I think it's going to be a recurring theme that the first card on each pack is going to be all gum soiled. But there's another uh, Donkey Kong Jr. puzzle card. There's a Frogger puzzle card. A Turbo puzzle card. Oh, neat little racetrack. Two frogs on a log. Frogger crossing. There's Donkey Kong Jr. I'm a swinger, <laughs> giggity. <laughs> Zaxxon, oh, a sticker where you put your high score. Oh, I would have loved these as a kid. Man, 
As I mentioned, I missed out on these originally when they came out back in 83, but I can absolutely see my Trapper Keeper just covered with these little stickers. Even though it's just a few games, the variety of the decals, it's not just game logos or anything. It's all kind of cool little sayings and icons, and plus you have those game pieces where you can kind of play the game when you should be studying in school. I'm sure I would have spent so much of my allowance on these cards, but unfortunately, I guess that would have cut into my video game playing budget, so a quarter's a quarter. I'm pleasantly surprised that the game piece cards aren't more worn, you know, the ones that have the scratch off, like a lottery ticket. I figured sitting inside of a wax pack for decades, kind of rubbing back and forth against the next card, they might have been a little more worn off, but actually they're all in pretty darn good shape. I guess they were packed tight enough that they weren't allowed to have that kind of friction. I would like to give Topps credit for thinking ahead, but I can't imagine they envisioned these would be being opened, you know, some 40 years later by some grown-up nerd and who was worried about whether or not the scratch-off games were still in good shape. I think it was just fortunate packing. As I get down to just the last few packs, I haven't noticed any particular stickers or cards that seem to be like a preponderance of them, like a ton. So I'm pretty optimistic once I get a chance to sort them, but I think I probably will have a complete set. I can only recall one that I only saw once, Something that strikes me as I go through these packs is the innocence of 1983. They're loud, garish, colorful cards. And what passes for an acceptable, you know, made up saying on a video game card, the frogger that says hippity hoppity flippity floppity or whatever. I mean, just it's so juvenile and it's so, it's something that teens today would roll their eyes at and make a meme about how lame it is. But you know, for kids in 83, that was awesome. It's a sticker about Frogger. We were on board, I expect. And there's the last one. Okay, now it's time to get these sorted out and find out just what we ended up with. Phase one of the sorting is complete. I have them down into regular sticker cards and game piece cards here, which there are four types. You have Frogger, DK Jr., Zaxxon, and Turbo. Now, the thing about these is I expect there are a variety of different layouts on the card because otherwise, every time you played one of these games, you would know exactly what was gonna happen and you could win. So I don't know how many variations there are. The irony is the only way to find out would be to scratch them off and find out, which I'm not gonna do. So I'll consider these to be all the same for uh, collecting sake. And because every third one or so is marred by that gum stain on the back, the good news is there are lots and lots of extras of these. So, you know, if one is junky with gum, that's okay. The next one is gonna be pretty clean. So with this sorting complete, it is time to move these out of the way and then sort all of these stickers. Wow, the distribution of these cards in this box are absolutely perfect. I mean, if I bought this box as a kid, I never could have afforded it, but if I had, I would not have been disappointed. So you have 20 different types of stickers and some of them have different backs and fronts. In the top row, we have the game overview cards. Those are all the same sticker, of course, but on the back, they either have an overview of the game or an advertisement to subscribe to Electronic Games. In the second row up here, we have puzzle keys. So again, all the same fronts, but on the back, you either have one of the pieces of the puzzle or the map of what the puzzle is going to look like when you're all done. The third and the fourth row here are all gonna be identical fronts and identical backs because they're just all puzzle pieces for one of the different puzzles. And finally on this front row, I categorize those together because while they all are single puzzle pieces from their respective puzzles, each one of them has a sticker where you can put your high score on the game along with a sticker, which I think is a great idea. So when it's all said and done, I have plenty of cards here to make a complete set, including alternate backs, and another couple of sets if you don't care about the alternate backs. And of course, we have an absolute pile of the gameplay pieces that are tons of extras of those, so that's gonna be no problem. And I know for a lot of card collectors, the puzzles on the backs of the cards are a huge attraction, so let me give you a quick look at the four assembled puzzles you can create if you've got a complete set. What an absolute treat this box of Video City trading cards was to open and sleeve. I do not regret the money I spent a bit. Man, I am stoked to have a full set of these. And now that I got them brand new in the packs, I know they're all pristine. I've got them in those nice little sleeves, so they're gonna be in beautiful shape for as long as I own them. And plenty of extras to trade, which is great. Man, if you enjoy collecting trading cards like this, I think you ought to check out this video I did a long, long time ago about Wonder Bread Crazy Cars. It was a collection that I loved in my youth and I was able to reacquire not too long ago. It's an old video, so forgive me it looks kind of dated. I really hope you found something to enjoy in this video though, and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.